What's up everybody, it's time to look at this deck of cards to see if it's one of the best marked decks out there today. This is the Red 3 Elite Edition Nightflight deck by Steve Deller. So what is a Nightflight deck? This is a deck of cards created by Steve Deller and illustrated by Aid Gower from Monster Creations. And this came onto my radar after a magician friend of mine, Andy Larmouth, showed them to me and says that he swears by them from a marked deck. Super easy to see the marking, the PVC so it's perfect to get them wet on tables from spectators and they're quite similar to standard bicycle decks. So people don't think that it's a special or trick deck. Had to play with them, felt really nice, super easy to read, so I bought myself a deck of the blue cards, and now I have this V3 deck. These are currently on Steam's website for £13.95, and they're on sale at that price, but they're going to jump back up to £16 at some point, which is really cheap for a deck. As a previous deck that I bought, which is the blue one, I do believe I paid about £20 for it, so it's great that he's been able to cut down the cost on these, should you need a replacement or other deck, they'll be a bit cheaper, so you can use them as like a throwaway deck and that sort of thing. So, let's get the deck unboxed and see what it's like. So these are printed on a German playing card stock, which is black core, which is perfect for table shuffles, springs, pressure fans, pharaohs, and so much more. They're finished with a new silk varnish, which means they glide beautifully. You'll also see that when we get in the deck, the faces on these V3s have been updated compared to the previous versions to give it a fresh and more modern look. So let's take a look at the box. The beauty about the box and the back of the cards is that they are somewhat similar to bicycles, so the spectators don't think it's a trick deck, but it's that much different that it makes them unique. The previous deck had Night Flight name on the box, whereas this one doesn't anymore. As you can see here, that's the the Night Flight deck at the bottom, but then the new one doesn't have that. There's also a Magic Square barcode, a 1089 reveal, and also two diamonds and a 10 of spears revealed. So let's get this opened up. Take it out of there. You see there's the box. Over on the front, casino quality playing cards, poker size elite edition. Then on the side, poker casino finish. And also the elite edition V3. On the top, you have the 1089 reveal and the Della. So Steve Della playing cards. And on the bottom, you have the magic square barcode and also the 10 of spades reveal. So when you open it up, you can see here, it's got the Night Flight Deck Elite on the tuck lid. And also on the inside, there's the uh, two diamonds reveal. So straight away out of the box, the cards are really, really nice. They feel like you've already used them already, even though they're fresh out of the box. So let's take a look at the back of the cards. So these cards are marked in two corners rather than all four, so when you're spreading the cards, you can always hide them. Not that anyone's gonna see them unless you point out the actual markings. So it's in the top left and the bottom right where you have it. The cards are also a one-way design, so they can use that to your advantage for tricks too. The one-way back is based on the center star in the middle left. There's also markings in the spider webs to indicate if the card is a red card or a black card. So at a quick glance, if you didn't want to use the markings for the card information, you could use that to see whether it was a red card or a black card. Of course, the main thing about the deck is the markings. The deck was designed around the markings rather than adding them on after the fact. And once you know where they are, you can instantly see them so fast and know what the chosen card is. I've had quite a few marked decks over time. Some have been easy to read and some were much, much harder. And after I was showed the previous versions of these, I knew how to get some, I loved them, so that the, the V3 was an absolute no-brainer to get. So when you spread through the deck, it just looks like a normal deck of cards. But then obviously when you're looking here, you can see here that's the... Uh, the seven of clubs, obviously six of clubs, five of clubs, four of clubs, three of clubs, two of clubs, ace of clubs, king of hearts. Even though these are in new deck order, you can see it straight away. So even if the cards were shuffled, as soon as you flick through, you can see that card straight away, 10 of hearts. Without needing to look really, really hard, the markings are just there for you. And again, the markings for the black and red card. So you can see here, this is a red card because in the spider's webs at the top, those are not filled in. But on this one, it's a black card and they are filled in. So it's really, really easy to see whether it's a black or a red card. Again, for the one-way deck, you can see the star. So it's like that. And if you spin it around, you should be able to see the difference there. So the, the point on the top faces off to the left on this card here. And on the other one, it faces off to the right. So you can take a card, have all of them the same way, turn a card around in the middle and you know exactly which it is. So... Really good for that as well. So what else do you get in the deck? Amongst the great reveals on the cards, which we'll go into further on, you get a double backer, which I know some people love for magic tricks, and you also get two jokers. And one of them has a special reveal with the three of diamonds on it. And the back of the card is marked to show which of these jokers have that three of diamonds too. So there's the two jokers, and obviously the double backer is just the same design on each side. So let's have a look through the deck and see the new and updated faces. There's a Queen of Hearts reveal on the Ace of Spades, so it's this one. There's the Ace of Hearts reveal on the Queen of Spades, and the Ten of Spades has a border gap, so it can be used as a key card, or it means you can easily locate it when you're trying to do a box reveal too, 
with the ten of spades on the bottom of the box. You can see here straight away when you're flicking through the deck, the numbers are much bigger and much bolder, and especially like the clubs, they're much more taking up more white space on the card, which really makes it pop out. So it's a lot easier for people to see their card. So if anyone has any difficulty with seeing anything, these cards are really spot on because they just sort of pop out of the deck and they're really bright and bold. So this is the Ace of Spades, and you can see here, it's got Delic Playing Card Company on it. And it's also got, this is the Queen of Hearts. One thing that you can do is you can force the Queen of Hearts onto someone, then produce this card to them, say this is your chosen playing card, They'll deny it is, they'll say it was the Queen of Hearts, and say, look closely, and there's the Queen of Hearts on, on the Ace of Spades. So again, all of these pips and the numbers are really big and bold on the cards, so they really pop out and they really show up really well. So there, there's the uh, Jack of Spades, and all of these face cards have been updated and modernised as well, so they look different from the bicycle cards, but they've still got that, that feel so people can recognise them as standard playing cards. There's a Queen of Spades and you can see here she's got a Ace of Hearts card reveal in her hand. And there's the King of Spades and you can see there it's got the little SD logo on it. Looks really good. And here Ace of Hearts, the heart in the middle is really really big and vibrant and just pops out. I'm really liking these uh, these new card faces with the, the big bold numbers and pips. So again, the nine takes up so much white space on it, and the 10. There's a Jack of Hearts, a new updated one. There's the Queen of Hearts. The King of Hearts, again with the SD logo on. Ace of Clubs, another big ace on it. And again, all of these taking up quite a lot of space. And there, the Jack of Clubs, Queen of Clubs, King of Clubs, again, SD. Here's the Diamonds, and go through all of these again, up to the Jack of Diamonds, Queen of Diamonds, and lastly, King of Diamonds. So now I've got two tens here. So with the uh, what we're saying about the smaller border, as you can see the ten of spades has a smaller border around the outside compared to all of the other cards, especially this ten. So it's easier to pick that out in the the spread when you're looking through. So how did the handle? Straight out the box, the handle like a deck of cards that's been used many times and broken in. And this seems like one of those decks where you can take a, a brand new deck which has been sealed, have the spectacle shuffle, do any sort of magic right away, and you can do so many potential things with them because they feel like they're already used cards rather than having to break them in. And obviously with the markings, there's so many different tricks you can do with them being a brand new sealed deck. You can get them to pick a card and you can see straight away what their card is and do those sort of magic tricks. So I've been shuffling up all the cards, got them all shuffled, and then I'm just gonna lay them all on the floor like this. So I've got them all shuffled up and the great thing about the markings is if you don't know where they are it's completely oblivious to it but once you know exactly where the markings are it's super easy to read and you can get it every single time and that's why I think personally this is the best mark deck on the market at the minute. It's definitely the best mark deck that I've got and owned and played with but possibly on the market. So on here I can just pick any card so this one here so this is a ten of diamonds. I can have this one here this is the two of diamonds. Uh, let's go here. So this is the Queen of Spades. Uh, this one here, Eight of Clubs. Let's see, give it another shuffle. Let's go this one here. What do you think? Top left, Ace of Spades. Boom. Ten of Clubs. Boom. Ten of Spades. Boom. Six clubs, super easy, so, so easy, so, so easy to read the markings and just pick it up. So even if you sort of, if you wanted to get the spectator to choose a card, but didn't want to make it too obvious, when you're flicking through, you can say, look, I want you to pick a card and to say that one. You say, do you want this one here or do you want this one here? 
So I can see from the back, you've got your seven of hearts here and your jack of diamonds there. So no matter which one they pick, you can see the markings on the back. If you can see there, the seven of hearts and the jack of diamonds. So the possibilities are endless for tricks. And again, you can use these for normal card tricks as well. You don't have to use them for the markings on the back. Use them normal card tricks and then add in some mentalism, all that sort of thing. So there we have it. That's the Night Flight deck from Steve Diller, which in my opinion is the best mark deck out there at the minute. The V3 deck is even better with all the updated faces and the feel of them. I do love the plastic version of this. So I've got a few of these and obviously this one's still stale, but I do believe in the future that the V3 is having the same plastic stock as this one going to be done for it. So if it is, then that'll be fantastic and even better. Hope you enjoyed the review of the deck and if you want to buy a deck of your own, there's a link in the description below. I've got a bunch of new deck reviews, magic reviews and some more in-depth magic documentary style videos lined up for the near future. So keep an eye on the channel for those. If you haven't already, drop a subscribe to the channel, leave a comment about your thoughts on the deck, smash the like button. Until next time, see ya!